Now to Mexico, where voters await the outcome of the election after heading to the polls on Sunday. There are reports that the country's old rulers, the Institutional Revolutionary Party, or PRI, could be set for a comeback 12 years after they were pushed out of power. To find out more on this, we cross to Deborah Bonello in Mexico. Deborah, no results as of yet, but how likely is it that people could be giving back control to the PRI? Well, the latest opinion polls had Enrique Peña Nieto, the presidential candidate for the PRI, um, at a 10 or 15 percent lead over his closest contender, Andres Manuel López Obrador, who's the leftist leader, um, who is believed to, the, the polls say that he will come in with 30 percent of the vote. It's important to remember that um, these opinion polls are uh, not the most reliable. Remember, in 2006, Andres Manuel López Obrador um, was was polled to be in front of uh, Calderón, the PAN candidate, and of course, controversially, um, that the PAN came into power. So we have to keep in mind that, that these, these polls can sometimes get things wrong. Now, a major concern for many Mexicans is the escalation of the drug war there, something that President Calderón has failed to combat. Would this have had an impact on how voters have actually cast their vote? Yeah, I mean, not only did Calderon fail to, to, to combat that, he actually started the drug war and made it the central part of his administration. There have been more than 60,000 drug-related deaths since um, Calderon took power in 2006. So, yes, security is one, but one, if not the only top issue for Mexicans who are also very concerned about jobs and, you know, weak economic growth. Um, important to remember also that there have been... Uh, I think it's over 30 local mayors killed um, in this administration. So, you know, lo local politics has been quite affected by the drug cartels. Um, but but on, a, on a national level, um, I'm not sure how big an influence the drug lords reign over the vote. Um, but it's certainly something that will be um, for, full frontal in the minds of a lot of voters today. Um, the ballot boxes are, as we speak, um, being closed and the initial count will be being taken in, in the next couple of hours. Well, Deborah, we'll be coming back to you as those preliminary results come in in a couple of hours. Thank you for joining us. Well, moving on to other news, and in Kenya, at least 17 are dead following a grenade attack on two churches on Sunday. More than 60 people were wounded in the attacks in Garissa, the North Kenyan town, which has been used as a base for operations against al-Qaeda-linked insurgents in Somalia. While there was no immediate claim of responsibility, police suspect al-Shabaab bandits are to blame.